and I'm also experiencing extremely large amounts of pain because when does the pain end? Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation you for in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're continuing season G with the nation of Georgia. Georgia is a nation located in the Caucasus region of the world. We start off as an Orthodox nation, and we start off with this 2 2 1 guy who's not very good. We also start off guaranteeing Trebizond and Samske, something we're going to want to stop doing pretty soon. And Georgian ideas aren't that bad man we start off with infantry combat plus 10 percent and fort defense so that's really nice for the start then we got infantry discount for the end not that good honestly legitimacy chance of a new year improved relations plus 30 percent is super strong we got tolerance plus two construction discount minus 10 manpower recovery speed monthly war exhaustion and diplo rep so all around a pretty balanced set of ideas of course a georgia starting position is super super difficult we could take care of the little guys right here but then we have qq and the timurids lurking to the south the hordes to the north and the ottomans to the west so expansion is going to be extremely extremely difficult but what do we do as georgia well there's an achievement called georgia on my mind where you need to own all three georgias basically these three areas right here georgia in the u.s and the island of south georgia down here and that achievement isn't exclusive to georgia and you can get it as any nation and i already have it i think i've gotten it as spain or france or someone like that but why not today try to do Georgia on my mind and conquer all three Georgias as the one true Georgia. It's gonna be extremely difficult. I don't know where we're gonna expand. It's gonna take us so long to colonize. Someone's already gonna be in Georgia in North America and it's gonna be a, uh, well, pain. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And boys, I'm trying to hit 100k subs. Your support will mean the world to me. So definitely consider subscribing or else I'm gonna have to visit all three Georgias in literally 24 hours. I don't think that's possible. Let's jump in as Georgia. All right, all right, here we are as Georgia. Now the requirements for that achievement, I just looked them up. So we need to own the these three areas right here, along with the island of South Georgia, which is down here, and of course, Georgia in North America. So, uh, yeah, like I said, we start off guaranteeing those two guys. I guess we don't start off guaranteeing them. What's up with that? Did that starting tip lie? Whatever. All right, we got cores on Imerete and Samske. We're gonna have to pounce on them quick, and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there, baby. So let me get started by doing some estate stuff. All right, all right, estate stuff done. Now, uh, like I said, all of these guys will want to conquer us pretty soon. And uh, I think if we can get an alliance with Muscovy going, I think we'll be pretty safe. That's usually the way to go with these Orthodox nations over in the Caucasus. However, Muscovy doesn't like me enough yet. And they have a bunch of vassals. But I think if we get them over 100 opinion, they should want to ally us in Royal Marias. So I'll start improving with them right away. We do start off as a kingdom. We got three diplomats. Let's see, what are we? We're an autocracy. Minus 10% unjustified demands. That's pretty good and uh yeah man let's hope one of these guys doesn't get an ally before december 11th and we'll pounce on them immediately so uh let me rival imereti samske and shirvan i know i did it in the wrong order my bad are we making money no we're actually losing money straight off the bat or force limit is eight so let me uh you know what to do yeah there we go bye bye horse and I'll get the free company up and running too. Our ruler and heir are horrible, so I'll just get rid of this guy right away, just like that. And I will also hire a general. Let me get a mill guy, a discipline or morale. I do have a discipline guy. And uh, yeah, let me wait for December 11th. Do we have unique missions as Georgia? Nope, but I really hope uh, they get some soon, at least in the next update after the Scandinavian one. All right, free company up and running. Let's move these guys here and we can take the mission built the force limit. All right, there we go. It's December 11th. Uh, Imereti, I have allied Theodore which is not a big deal at all and samske have allied no one all right this is who we're declaring on first boys reconquest for it doesn't matter boom there we go let's uh stand on their fort and then i'll immediately declare on imereti too to add another challenge to this run I will need to conquer the entire region of Caucasia, but not anything else outside of it. You know, just to make it a little bit harder for ourselves. Uh, as if it's not hard enough already. QQ declared on Shirvan, not good. All right, our war with Samske is done. They're losing to these guys too, so I could vassalize them, but I won't do that. Let's just do this. No A, nothing like that. There we go, done. And now I'll immediately declare on Imereti as well for the reconquest of Imereti. 
All right, I sieged down these guys. I did get rid of the free company. And uh, yeah, now it's just a waiting game. <laughs> I can't get over here. Unless I ask for access, these guys will give it to me. What about Genoa? Uh, they won't. What about Crimea? Uh, they will. Okay, let's go here. I can already Royal Mary Muscovy. And after this war, I will be able to ally them. Awesome. All right, I'm back in my land and I full occupied Theodoro. So what I'll do here is annex these guys right here and actually make Theodoro my vassal, which I can't. All righty then. Let's go here. And uh, there we go. We'll make Theodoro our vassal. They'll do stuff over here since we can't expand outside of Caucasia. And now we'll be full annexing Imereti. Awesome. All right. Pretty good start. Now that we can ally Muscovy, which I will do, we should be safe from the Ottomans and QQ and stuff like that. Uh, I don't want to roll Mary Circassia. In fact, I want to conquer it. All right, now it's time to chill a bit and stabilize before moving on Walt Trebizond to make them a vassal or Circassia. The Renaissance just spawned, and of course, it's going to be a pain to force spawn it here because look at this terrain, dog. Oh my god, man. Mountains, you guys already know, plus 35. Our capital here, ah, it's already pretty expensive, dude. Yeah, all of these are super expensive, man. All right, new era is not that bad. So yeah, current game plan is curry favors with Muscovy and call them in with Circassia because I'll need to fight the Great Horde too. All right, I've gotten 10 favors with Muscovy. Let's see if they'll help out and they actually will. All right, awesome. Then we can take these provinces. I mean, full annex Circassia and we need one province from the Great Horde too. Let's just set all of them as provinces of interest so we don't forget or anything like that. And let me recall this guy and get ready for this war. It should be pretty easy with Muscovy on our side. All right, all right. And I think we're good to go here, man. Let's declare on Circassia, call in Muscovy to help us deal with the Great Horde. Uh, can I co-belligerent Trebizond? I can. That's awesome. All right, we'll make them our vassal too. What about the Great Horde? Ah, I don't want to fight Dulkadir and Uzbek. Alrighty then, let's get a move on. Actually, I'll focus on Trebizond first. And yeah, man, the strategy with pretty much any nation over here, at least that's orthodox, like any of these guys, even Theodoro and Trebizond, the strategy is ally Muscovy. If you do that, you should be 95% of the time set. It's time for our tier two government reform, which as you all know, ladies and gentlemen, it has to be Strength and noble privileges. I wonder what we're gonna do when the new reforms get added when uh, 134 drops. I think strength and noble privileges will still be actually one of the best. All right, we're done with Trebizond, so uh, let's go ahead and vassalize them and take all their money. Not a big deal at all. They're my boys now. Excellent. And I'm also experiencing extremely large amounts of pain because, well, Circassia has been declared on by Ghazi Kumuk. No, but could this be a blessing in disguise? Can I simply vassalize Circassia and then get dragged into a defensive war with these guys and annex them as well? I think that's what I will do. Yes. Ah, uh, the Ottomans warned me. <sighs> Who can't I fight? Who can't I fight? Let's see, does it work with Genoa? Yeah, so even with sea tile nations it works. Let's see with Crimea. No, okay, it doesn't. Um, so I can't fight AQ, I guess? Yeah, AQ is pretty much the only nation I can't fight. All right, this doesn't concern me too much. Actually, man, I'm not gonna vassalize these guys. What I'm gonna do is straight up just take these, but I still can't. Uh, oh wait, I need someone to occupy this. Let me go do that. Yeah, so what I was saying is I'm uh, gonna annex Circassia, at least everything that I can, and also take Terek here from uh, the Great Quarters so we don't have to fight them by themselves later on. That could be super annoying. So let's just do this, and then we'll declare on Ghazi Kumuk because they're only allied to Biapas anyway, and it's gonna be super, super easy. So let's do that, and uh, all the money, unfortunately, I can't take all the money from the Great Cord because we're not separate piecing them. But uh, yeah, that's that, man. All right, expansion uh, is going well. Wait, what's going on? Why? Wait, did I still vassalize them? Oh, uh, I mean, this is what I meant to do. <laughs> Wait, this is not what I meant to do. I guess I didn't uncheck the part where I vassalized them. Um, all right. Well, we can call in Muscovy to save our butt once again oh, versus Crimea and Ghazi Kumu. And uh, we can take this mission right here, which I will do. And uh, we'll core this stuff up. All of my boys are disloyal, but uh, we'll get them loyal soon enough. All right. Let's go deal with Crimea first. Oh my god, dude. I have never seen anything like this. Look at look at this diplomacy masterclass from Ramazan, who allied both the Ottomans and the Mamluks. I've never seen anyone ally both of these guys, I don't think. I've never done it. Uh, you guys maybe have seen it, but I haven't. And our war with Ghazi Kumuk is done. We will be full annexing them because all their land is in the Caucasia region. And just like that, they're gone as well. Uh, let's see what we can do with Crimea here. Wait, why am I fighting Kazan? Why? What's this? Did they enter? Veen or something. Oh. All right, I knocked out Kazan and uh, Crimea is toast as well. Now, like I said, we can't expand outside of Caucasia ourselves. Colonizing doesn't count, of course, but uh, I may have shot myself in the foot with that because I can full annex Crimea, dude. If I own this uh, directly, we would be so, so powerful, man. But what I'm going to do instead is just uh, give it all to Theodoro, man. 
<laughs> give it all to Theodoro. 65 AE. We are at risk of a coalition with the Ottomans joining, but it won't form because we'll have a truce with the Great Horde and three nations can't form a coalition. So uh, let's full we'll annex Crimea, apparently. You know, this accidental vassalization of Circassia, it was a blessing in disguise, bro. All right. I like where this is going. Now, the Renaissance is kind of sort of already spreading here, uh, as we can see, but I will uh, activate Encourage Dev here to help speed it all along. Let's see, do we have an icon for Dev Discount? Uh, yeah, there it is, Christ Pentocrator. So uh, let's get that as well and uh, bump this up to 30 at least. We won't have to full spawn the Renaissance, you know, but uh, we can like half spawn it. And yeah, man, people are definitely mad. No guy, the Great Horde, AQ, and the Ottomans could all join a coalition. Now, like I said, they can't because I have a truce with the Great Horde and you need four nations for coalition but by the time our truce expires these guys won't have as much ae now it's definitely time to chill a bit you know try and tech up we still got this guy right here who sucks and uh yeah man we need to take care of shervan that'll be pretty easy but then uh fighting qq for well a bunch of provinces these ones right here and a jam as well that's not gonna be that easy just took out new burger loans i can pay off my final non-burger loan and uh, I think we can build some buildings as well. Let's see, trade. Uh, we can put that in like two provinces. So let's put a marketplace right here in Odishi and in Tbilisi as well. Actually, what I think I'll do here, man, is uh, release a certain nation, the nation of Astrakhan, which I uh, can't do apparently. Alrighty, then I wanted to pop them out of this province right here so we can use their course to reconquer stuff in the Great Horde. But uh, it seems that this is Dagestani cultured. Uh, yeah, it is. So we can't pop them out. Let me give out strong duchies too, since we'll never integrate these guys. We'll keep them around until the end we're also making enough money now to where we can hire three advisors so let's get this manpower guy uh improve relations will be pretty good right now and uh how about tax and yeah man at this point i don't think i'm concerned at all about anyone declaring on me unless muscovy find itself in a really really stupid situation like losing a war to someone neither poland nor the ottomans nor qq or the hordes no one would dare declare on us are we a great power? Of course we're not. We kind of need to fight Genoa, but that won't really be possible because they're allied with Austria, which means they'll uh, stay in the HRE or they already have. Or no, I guess they've left the HRE already then. Uh, but yeah, what... Right, right. I forgot about this, too. Uh, we can finally abdicate with this dude right here, which I will do. We really need these other points, man. Uh, Muscovy is calling me in with who? Novgorod and Lithuania? I guess Poland didn't take Lithuania, did they? Yeah, they're independent. They're not even allied, dude. That's so weird, man. Um, this should be easy, I think. Yeah, let's go help out. Uh, maybe we can actually set some provinces as provinces of interest right here so that, uh, well, I guess I can't. Muscovy's already taken them. Alrighty then. And yeah, I'm transferring everything I occupy over to Theodoro just in case Muscovy wants to give us something from Lithuania. Ooh, okay, the Ottomans are fighting, uh, who are they fighting? Genoa, I guess. Yes, I think they want this down here. This might be an opportunity for us to declare on them as well if Austria might not defend or something like that. Finally, Admin Tech 5, let's open up with uh, exploration. Even though it's super early, we literally won't be able to colonize anything for like, I don't know, maybe 40 years, man. But let's just get exploration expansion done with. All right, war's done. Uh, Muscovy didn't give us anything from Lithuania, but we can declare on Genoa without Austria coming in or the Ottomans. So I'll uh, do that right away. Muscovy won't help us, but I don't think we need it. And let's just do a regular conquest for Kaffa. There we go. And yeah, now that we've occupied this, the plan pretty much much is just wait for five years until they unconditionally surrender yeah because we can't go occupy like florence and stuff meanwhile i'm gonna start building some light ships uh to prepare for exploring and stuff like that here's three gov reform time let's go for uh centralized and let's take this the ottomans warning on me expired but they immediately rewarned me again uh yeah okay uh you guys just saw the previous clip it was literally a few days ago Ostrakhan just popped out uh they're guaranteed by poland but i think poland should cancel that guarantee pretty soon in which case we'll pounce on these boys immediately and vassalize them yep poland just canceled that guarantee so let's go ahead and declare on these guys immediately zero troops zero everything we gotta take advantage of this meanwhile let's see if we can actually explore anything let me get an explorer right here and nope so Ostrakhan is done. Can we vassalize them? Yes, we can. It is, once again, quite a lot of AE, but there's no risk of a coalition. All right, boom. Another subject has been acquired. And uh, now we're pretty powerful, boys. QQ, actually not that powerful, man. Look at this, dude. They only got 23k troops. I think me and my boys can take on QQ, at least when we're done with Genoa. And after white piecing Florence and Cyprus, we can take these three provinces, which, of course, I will feed to Theodoro. 
And uh, that's that. And I've just annexed Circassia. Of course, since I can't give out uh, the nobility integration policy, I will have to eat the penalty for a bit here. How long is it? Let me just check. And it's uh, 10 years, actually quite long. <laughs> you know, these guys blow up so often, but when you play next to them, no, most stable country in the world. Oh, I guess we have the Cossacks now. Let's give them Cossack expansion uh, expeditions. Let's give them recruit Cossack leaders. And uh, yeah, all right, got Admin Tech 7. It's time for a second idea group. Now we won't really need expansion here. It's just like five provinces we got to colonize. Well, however, what we really need is something to make us money. Now, ideally, I'd take trade, but I can't since I took exploration. So let's go with the next best thing, economic. And something horrible has happened. Uh, QQ is fighting Biapas, right? Which is this nation right here. Now, they were allied to Ak. Kuyunlu, QQ fought AQ, took a province from them, and now they border the Ottomans, which means I can't fight them because the Ottomans would defend them because they're warning me. Uh, what we need to wait for here is for that warning to expire or for the Ottomans to fight them and get around that that way, just like we did with Genoa. But what else can I say except pain? Might as well go take care of Shervan, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll let my vassals do the work. Moscow is calling me in with Kazan. I'll help. And we can end the war with uh, Shirvan. Awesome. I could have vassalized them. They do have some cores here, but it's honestly not that important. Hey, we can finally explore. Yes, let's go explore the North Atlantic Sea. All right, what we need to keep an eye out here is this uh, warning expiring in May 1497. That's exactly when we'll declare on QQ. We are already more powerful than them. All right, so we finally see some uncolonized provinces. Unfortunately, our colonial range is way off. We'll need to tech up a couple more times before we can actually colonize alternatively we could know cb like an irish guy or morocco or something like that england does seem pretty weak they don't have any foothold in ireland so uh no cb Munster or desmond or thomond question mark wait these guys are already dying to someone so uh yeah let's not do that uh what about joloff can we no cb joloff you know what let's take it one step at a time baby no no cbs when does the pain end now qq are guaranteed by the ottomans it's like these guys are reading my mind dog they're not letting me expand anywhere all right i can't go anywhere down south bro it's all a border with qq oh uh, all righty then now wait a minute i can get around this uh i have a sea tile with mazandron man we can spy on them, declare on them, and fight QQ like that. Sure, we won't be able to take as much, but there's a workaround right there. And we don't even have to wait for the warning to expire. All right, boys, I got a spy network on Mazandran going. I think it's time to declare right here. We do have uh, way more troops than them. And even though this will be an annoying war because of so many forts, we should be able to easily win this with the help of our boys. Muscovy and Riazan won't help us. They're too far away. But let's go ahead and do this. The provinces I want from QQ are these right here. And because it's double cost, because we didn't co-belligerent them, because then the Ottomans would come in. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to take all of them. So we won't do anything to Mazandran. This is a war to fight. These guys. Let's get it. I'm super ahead on tech here, so I will be bombing their forts. War's going well. It's just super, super slow. Uh, let's take meritocratic recruitment. All right, we can knock out QQ. I know I hit my points cap. It just happened. Uh, yeah, pretty annoying, man. I lost a lot of manpower because I had to stack on their forts so I don't get attacked. But... Let's peace out QQ, and these are the provinces I want. So these five are here, and then we'll take these five up here later. That's all I want. Uh, let me get war reps where I can't. Let me get some money at least. And uh, that's where we're pretty much done. Now we can peace out Mazandran at any point. And uh, I don't want to take up. It's too expensive. So uh, let me do some deving in cows. And let's just white peace Mazandran. All right, now we're going to do the same thing later just for these five provinces right here. At least I hope I can take all five of them if they're not too highly devved. But yeah, man, that's the plan. We pretty much have almost all of Caucasia, just these. Meanwhile, no progress in colonization because I'm too far. I need a uh, Diplotech 9 or a Colonial Range Advisor, to be honest. All right, I just got new burger loans. Let's try and find a Colonial Range guy. And actually, I got him immediately. So now we should be able to colonize a bit more. Although this will make my boats die because they'll be out of Colonial Range. I may be able to... Uh, I still can't. Yeah, there's no point in the Colonial Range guy. I think it'll just kill my boats, but let's let's see. Now I got to force spawn colonialism, bruh. Uh, all righty then, let's get a move on. And yeah, boys, that's what's up. We don't have a lot of activities going on right now. Just waiting for this truce with QQ and, uh, and waiting for Diplotech Man to give us Colonial Range so we can hop to here maybe, then to South America, and then from here... We can go on to South Georgia and uh, Georgia. All right, just hit Diplotech 9. We can explore uh, further, maybe the South American coast. And let's check out our colonial range. Uh, actually, that's not it. Is it in political? Nope. Is it in diplomatic? Nope. Is it in economic? Of course it is. Uh, alrighty then. Okay, so actually, since our truce with Mazandran is up, we don't have to wait for our truce with QQ to expire, and we can just go ahead and hit them again to take the final provinces in the region of Caucasia. Yes. So let's go ahead and declare on Mazandran, take Amal, whatever.
whatever, QQ is gonna join, and it's pretty much the same thing as last time, man. Fight for QQ's provinces pretty much and after beating these guys up a bit we actually can peace out and we actually can take all the provinces that we want so let's take this 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 and that and that is all that we want uh, look there's the caucasian region that's everything we're gonna take and our expansion over in uh the old world is pretty much done or is it you see boys during this time i have been building boats and i think i'm building some more or maybe not it doesn't matter because I'm thinking about no sea being Moonster, just like I said earlier in the game. Now, uh, they're losing to Scotland or something. I don't know what's going on with England. I guess because Scotland is still allied to France. But if we no sea be Moonster, man, we can gain a foothold here and then definitely start colonizing uh, before we get involved with all the regular colonizers. So I think that is something I'm going to do. All right, boys, we got to go for this now because uh, their allies won't even defend them. So this is the perfect time to do it. Let's uh, no CB Moonster. That's not bad at all, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm also helping Muscovy do this whole thing. Well, my boats died. Luckily, they were returning from Ireland and not going that way. But I did manage to get uh, 13k dudes over there. So we should be good. Uh, that was out of, you know, uh, fleet basing range or whatever. But at least we're here. Uh, okay, Moonster has been defeated. I can't polanex them, of course. Let's just make them a vassal. So let's see if vassalizing these guys and annexing them and then getting colonial range through that is going to be quicker than getting uh, Diplotech 11. We can almost see the Georgia in the North America. I think it's uh, this area right here. Uh, we can't really see the name, but yeah, it should be this right here. And there it is, actually, Diplotech 11. So maybe that uh, no being Ireland thing was useless. Please, Lord, tell me that I can colonize now, man. Yes. Yes, we can. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so happy. Let's go right here. All right, boys. So now the game plan is once we colonize this man, we'll start moving both south and north. Uh, I think I'm going to go north first so we can colonize like this province right here and then push into these natives here. And uh, then while we're doing that, the colonists will be uh, colonizing South Georgia. And that's how we'll deal with that. All right, boys. So I'm colonizing uh, Bellum right here. Tell me in the comments below if this province has anything to do with the Bellum Tower, any Portuguese, you know, lore masters. Tell me in the comments. So I guess no seeing Ireland was useless. <laughs> Alrighty then, well, I guess we got vassals, you know? <laughs> and man, we've never really struggled for cash this game, but we're pretty poor, man. I can never get a big enough budget going, you know, to start building a ton of buildings, field a massive army and stuff like that. Trade is just so horrible here, and the trade goods suck quite a lot too. It's not like we're broke, but I've been making like two or three ducats a month pretty much the entirety of the game. I've actually sent uh, troops down here, and now I'm gonna swap to this for faster colonization. And I'm gonna give the burgers, what's it called? Uh, is it New World Charter? Huh, that kind of sucks. So I can finally see the nation that's in uh, the area of Georgia, pretty much. This is what we need to conquer right here. And uh, to fight these guys, we're going to have to fight 55,000 natives. Yes, it's going to be harder fighting these guys than it was... Uh, QQ. Uh, third idea group time. Let's go for something uh, mill focused so we can have a slightly easier time beating up these guys over here. Maybe offensive, maybe quality too. We don't really need quantity. Yeah, let's go with quality. All right, our colony is done. The first one at least. Let's check out our colonial range and we can go to Georgia. Awesome. This is it, right? Yeah, let's uh send that guy right there. Also tier five, gov reform time. Let's take general estates and let's get these guys over to uh, Georgia. The other smaller army is already on its way up all right so my colony in georgia is done and now i'm just prepping to attack these guys just getting some armies together we'll declare in a few years and now i can go colonize south georgia there we go so it's actually two areas over here uh georgia and upper georgia we need them both so it's no big deal we'll just fight all these guys but let's go ahead and declare on these guys first even though they are uh numerically superior i have the tech advantage and this will actually be an easy war uh let's get it oh nice we can take these too great let's peace out these one guys and take these two provinces awesome and since i don't want to full annex these guys i only need these provinces this war is done as well all right we got to do two more wars one is versus creek right here and then versus kusa who i have a truce with because i just fought and then once we're done with that and once we colonize this We'll be done. All right, just got a claim on Creek. Let's go ahead and declare on them. Uh, why do I already have claims on a bunch of stuff? I don't know. You guys are seeing this, right? How can a country have two colors? What's going on here? And since we're also fighting Kusa again, we can totally peace out and take the entire area of Upper Georgia. So let's do this, this, and this. And uh, that. Alrighty, we have both North America and Georgias. All we need to do is score them up and wait for South Georgia to finish colonizing. And we'll be done, baby. I'm loving it. Cores are done, so of course a colonial nation formed, and we'll of course name it Just Georgia. 
just like me. Hmm. And there we go, our colony in South Georgia has grown up to become self-sustaining. And with that, we have finished this challenge and accomplished our goal of owning all three Georgias just like the achievement requires, which like I said, I already have it. I did it with Castile or France. You can do it as any country. You don't need to do it as Georgia, but I thought it would be fun to do it. We need to own these three areas, which we of course do. We took them right at the start, and then we need to own these two areas right here, which of course we do. Now we have a colony. It's called Georgia, just like us, and we also own the province of South Georgia. Yay! Georgia on my mind, baby. But yeah, there you go, man. We started off as Georgia, obviously, retook our course from Imereti and Samske, and then expanded slowly. Thankfully, we could ally Muscovy, which enabled us to survive the entirety of the campaign. Otherwise, we might have gotten declared on by the Hordes, the Ottomans, QQ, or someone like that. I've been warned by the Ottomans for the entirety of the campaign. Luckily, we worked around some of those things by declaring on QQ allies and stuff like that, like Biapas, and then we expanded over here. And for our secondary goal, of course, we needed to own the entire area of Caucasia and nothing outside of it. I even vassalized Moonster, which I completely forgot about. We vassalized Theodoro, Trebizond to help us grow a bit, Ostrakhan as well, and we have a couple of subjects. Overall, not a very difficult campaign. We did sort of struggle for cash. Of course, now I'm losing a lot because my army is massive, but we were never really rich. Even though we didn't need to be, it was still a little hurdle in the road. But overall, a super straightforward campaign, man. It did take us super, super long to start colonizing because we're so far away, but eventually we did it. We landed in South America and then in North America, fought these guys over here colonize south georgia and that's that so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm happy to say that this campaign as georgia in a to z has been a success and that has been georgia in a to z let me know in the comments below what i should do with this nation next week if you want to watch me do stuff like this live you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the live and if you want to catch up on stuff from over there you can subscribe to the second channel link is in the description if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you want to see more challenges like this or more you for videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video